Because if you walk to door to door around here, I bet you every, uh, everybody holler Tim Evans. Some residents of Alderman Marlene Carter's 15th Ward are still furious over her decision to back Sawyer for mayor. Evans, we put her in office and we felt like she had the responsibility to ask us who we want for the acting mayor. Alderman Carter has received so many threatening phone calls since the Wednesday morning council vote that police squad cars now maintain a constant watch outside her ward office. This kind of hate must quit. We cannot go around threatening each other. Also under police guard is 16th Ward Alderman Anna Langford, who says the only other time she was under police protection was more than 30 years ago when she moved into an all-white neighborhood. After 33 years of having a published number I have changed that number and now it's non-published and I hated to do it but I had all kinds of threats uh, I have a family living right down the street my grandchildren my daughter lived down the street and uh, they were telling me I better have police everywhere on the block and, uh, because people were gonna get hurt and just just it's just been vicious it's been very vicious the bouquet on Langford's desk bears a note from Mayor Sawyer. It calls for unity. I know Sawyer better, and I felt that Sawyer would be better for the council because the other aldermen respected him and could support him also. Marlene Carter says her decision to back Sawyer was more pragmatic than popular. Sawyer was the choice of the majority of the black aldermen. The 25 solid white aldermen said before we even took that consensus vote that they would cast their votes on whomever the majority of the black aldermen said they wanted for mayor. And we did that. 